My dad, right, always taught me mucklers look after mucklers. I don't know how many times he's fucked her over and she never learns. My whole life, I've been telling people, one day me and my dad will go into business together. Basically, PC Weber was trying to get me and my dad to turn on each other. What he doesn't know is us mucklers ain't grasses. As things stand, there are 168 stolen vacuum cleaners in a lockup rented out under your name. Police discovered nearly 170 of them in a nearby lockup garage and dozens more in a room at the local bowls club. I know you're trying to protect your dad, but you have to tell us the truth. I am telling the truth. My dad's not a criminal. When I think of Kerry Mucklow, I think of someone who is very loyal and very, very stupid. Yes, it's legit. Of course it's legit. Why would I put the lockup in my name if I didn't think it was legit? You've got to tell the truth or he's going to fucking drag me down and you down with him. Trial was that the prosecution's case hinged on evidence given by Martin Mucklow's own family, in particular his daughter Kerry. Kerry and Mucklow's look after Mucklow, so you've got nothing to worry about. He's a fucking scumbag, Kerry, and he's gonna fucking stitch you up again. He's not gonna stitch me up because my dad loves me. Well, I don't really know her. I mean, she's my daughter and that, but right. I've had nothing to do with her because she's trouble. I actually don't think he loves you at all, and I don't think he's ever loved you. Have you got anything to say, Mr Mucklow? Any apology? The thing is, you've got to realise what kind of a relationship she's had with her father and how that's affected her whole outlook on life. I can't go to prison, Dad. Kerry, Mucklows look after Mucklows. Mucklows don't look after Mucklows. Mucklows are the problem. You do love your old dad, don't you? Of course I do. You know, you need someone to, to protect you from the Mucklows. 